partridge hunting. Today is Friday, October 1st, and I'm heading up to do a little bit of hunting today and then just hang out on my new land at my campsite. So even though it's going to be a pretty short trip, I think it will still be worth it to get some dog training in for her. That's the biggest thing. Plus, I mean, just being up there is just wonderful. So there's two major skills that she needs to be a good bird hunting dog right now. The first one is to be able to be off leash and not run away from me. She doesn't really have that down yet. She, you know, she's so close, she might, but I really don't want to risk her misbehaving and I'm up there alone. And even if she has the GPS collar on, I'm sure I can find her, but you know, she could run miles and miles. And I don't really want to chase her miles and miles. So until I'm 100% confident that I have control over her, I don't want to let her off leash. She's still very young. She just turned a year, she's like a year and two months old. For most hunting dogs, they train until they're two years old before they actually go and work. The other skill that she needs to have is to bring the bird back to me. We've done a lot of retrieval training and she's great at it. I just don't know how she's going to act when she has a real bird. It might be way too exciting for her and she might decide to keep the bird for herself. If she decides to run away with it, then she's on a leash and I can pull her towards me. And I have these little baby cheese burgers that I made, almost like little sliders. And I'm going to trade her a cheeseburger for the bird. The issue, or the one problem with this plan is that I'm assuming that she wants the little baby cheeseburger more than she wants the freshly killed partridge meat. So my plan for this weekend is to do what we call rubber tire hunting. And I know it's not very sportsmanlike. Basically, rubber tire hunting is when you drive around on logging roads and you wait for a partridge to cross the road or you see him on the edge of the road because they'll come out and sun their feathers on the edge of the road and then you basically hop out and shoot them. So rubber tire hunting is popular for people who are older, maybe they have bad knees or some other injury and they really can't be walking around the woods anymore. So this way they can, they can still get around, they can still go hunting. It's not as fun and adventurous, but it's better than not being able to go hunting at all. And in my situation, the handicap that I'm working with is the fact that I have a puppy. All right, let's do this. Ibica, it's time for some rubber tire hunting. All right, so I've got my shotgun and because, so I'm not on like a real road at this point. I, I'm considered like in the forest now. That being said, you should never keep a loaded shotgun in your car, not smart. So what I'm gonna do is I've got two shells ready to go right here in my console. Right now my shotgun is broken open right next to me and it has snap caps in there. Uh, a snap cap is basically, it's like not a, there's no shot in it. It doesn't explode, it doesn't do the thing. And it helps protect your firing pin. goes hunting like this with their dog attached to their belt. Yeah, yeah, you want that, don't you? You have to earn it. You gotta earn it by being a good dog. Good dogs get burgers. Ready? Find the partridge. Stay up bird hunting. Puppy. <laughs> Come on, sweetheart. Find the cartridge. So I'm very proud of her tracking ability right now. At least she knows what we're looking for because she found a dismantled partridge 
Either someone shot this or maybe a coyote got it. You found it, Vibica. Now let's go find a live one, okay? It's a good dog. Let's find the truck. Come on, baby. No, no, we're not leaving. We're just gonna find the truck. Come on. Come on, little baby. All right, so we just headed down another area. We've been to a few different places by now and we haven't put up any birds. It definitely looks like the rain is coming in even earlier than it was supposed to, which is not great. So I want to get back to my own camp and set up my tent and get all that squared away in case the rain really starts coming down. However, I'm still keeping an eye out because it's always as soon as you, you know, pack your shotgun away or check your phone to see where you're at on the map, like, like that's the moment that the partridge will flush. <laughs> and Vivica is actually doing much better. Good dog, much better than I had thought. In terms of not being a complete spaz in the woods. So she seems to actually have a good understanding of what we're doing here, which is very, very helpful. Oh boy, the venison is chewy big. Okay, yeah. First you're gonna go and eat it right where I'm trying to set up the pan. So this is my new sleeping bag. It's from Ascend. And this is made for, this is negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. It's something crazy, yeah. Yep, yeah. so this is made for negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. It's awesome. Um, it's called the Whammy. <laughs> so it's only supposed to be about 40 degrees Fahrenheit tonight, so I'm really not too concerned about, you know, freezing to death. How do I undo this thing? Um, but I'm very excited to try this out. I'll probably be too warm in it, honestly. That's probably what's going to happen here. Take a minute and show you how cozy my tent is. I know it's dark in here right now, but I've got my, my mummy bag. It's made for negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. It's got a blanket for Vibica. And my duffel bag over there. And we'll hang a little light from the top later on tonight. So I guess I'll show you guys my embarrassing fire situation. It's a, uh, well, it's embarrassing. So. Um, I didn't bring any firewood with me because I'm just surrounded by woods and I thought that we had a few pieces of firewood already cut up here, like some nice logs, but we don't. And clearly it rained here recently because all of the wood is wet. So about the best that I can do is keep feeding it these small twigs and using newspaper in order to keep a flame. And honestly, that's been going pretty okay. It's just exhausting. So I've got a few of these larger logs, but they're wet. And if I can just get them to dry out a little bit, everything will be much easier. 
And really all that I'm trying to do is make some hot water in the fire. And I have a stove with me, I can use that. I just thought that this would be more fun to heat up hot water in the cast iron so I can pretend like I'm cooking when I'm actually going to have instant hot chocolate and instant ramen. Making fires in the wilderness is definitely a skill that I need to work on because all the campfires that I've done have been you know, where I bring my own firewood. And when you have it cut just to the perfect size and it's you know all dried out for at least a year, and if this doesn't work, I do have other things with me. Yes, finally, fire! <laughs> what is it, Nibika? <laughs> Woof. What is it? You tell them. Whoever they are, you say, yo, Vibika is here. Step back. Woo, woo, woo. Woo. I need another rock to balance that. Good morning, everyone. Oh, it's still dark outside. It's about 6 a.m. Oh, no, a little bug in here. So we slept for... 10 hours <laughs> um, anyways it hasn't started raining yet which is really good because I do have to pack up this camp before we go and it's nice to not have to do that in the rain sorry little fly get out thank you um, it was actually really warm last night the duck down sleeping bag get off my lens fly makes a huge huge difference it was so like cozy and warm and Ibuka was totally fine too she was loving the cold weather She's actually outside right now, keeping watch for predators. So I'm going to start packing up before it starts raining and then we will hit the road and do some more hunting today. Forest. Go back to camp and pack things up, Vibica. Fire's out. Tarp in the outhouse. Tents all broken down, got all our stuff. All right, Vivica, you ready to go hunting? So I don't think we're gonna do that mountain given the weather. It's not terrible, it's just drizzly, um, but I really wanna get more bird hunting done. And the spot that I know of, although it's about an hour's drive away, I almost always find birds there, especially on rainy days like this, they tend to kind of you know, group up in there and that's where they like to hang out when it's raining outside. So we're gonna head over there and do some bird hunting. And um, all right, I will see you guys over there. Ooh, 
face full of mulch. That's nice. That's very nice. So we just finished our hunt and we only put up one bird. I can't believe it. I don't know if it was maybe a bad season for the chicks this year. So maybe we'll see something on the way home, but otherwise um, I'm pretty happy with the adventure that we had outside. It's beautiful, even though it's raining. It was actually very nice under the tree line. In the treetops, excuse me. So I think we're going to head into town and get some food and uh, hit the road and head home.